for tuning in to Dan Ministries. I'm excited that you are here. This is Vision of Victory, and guess what? We're up close and personal one more time. I'm excited to be here with you. You know, many times you watch me and I'm preaching and I'm teaching and I'm uh, doing different things at different churches, but I wanted to take some time to spend with you personally. And we're gonna talk about a few things. Last time when we talked like this, we talked about trust, but this time we're gonna talk about peace. And I got a surprise for you as we go forward in the show. But we're going to talk about peace today because I think it's important that you know that the God we serve can give us peace and we really need the peace of the Lord. And so I really want you to know what that peace looks like and I want you to have that peace. But I want to tell you who I am. I'm Dr. Darlene Allen Nichols. I want you to take pick up the phone, call us toll free 855-326-2255. Uh, or you can write us, Dan Ministries, care of Dr. Darlene Allen Nichols, P.O. Box 439-332, Chicago, Illinois, 60643. I'll repeat that. Get your pen, get your paper, write it down. This is Dan Ministries, care of Dr. Darlene Allen Nichols, P.O. Box 439-332, Chicago, Illinois, 60643. Or you can call 855-326-2255. All right, so let's talk about peace. I want to go to a scripture, which is um, in 2 Thessalonians 3 and 16. And it says, now the Lord of peace himself give you peace always. By all means, the Lord be with you all. Wow, the Lord of peace, he is peace. He's Jehovah Shalom, gives you peace. So he gives you his peace. What is peace? We talk about that. And we're gonna talk about it a little bit more too as we go further, but peace is a freedom from disturbance. And through this, you'll see, I'm gonna to talk to you about a couple of scriptures. We're gonna mention some other scriptures, but there are so many people, young, old, middle-aged, that are going through issues where they don't have any, they don't have freedom from disturbance. There's confusion at the home, on the job, with the family, with the children. There is no peace. But I came to comfort you today that the God of all peace will give you peace. He will, excuse me, he will give you a calm sense of security, knowing that he has never left you, nor will he forsake you. The God that we serve, he is peace. He's Jehovah Shalom, and he gives peace to you who need it. I know you're watching and you say, I watch this all the time, and I enjoy your preaching and teaching and that time, but I don't have any peace. I'm struggling at home. I'm struggling on my job. I'm struggling with my family. I'm struggling with my children. And some of you say, I got everything I need. I just still don't have any peace. I have an issue in my body. I'm sick. I've been diagnosed with a disease that seems incurable. I've gone to doctor after doctor, but guess what? You tuned in at the right time because the God that we serve will give you peace. And I want you to be encouraged to know that peace, when you have peace in your mind, when you have peace in your, in your spirit, it will take you to a place that no matter what happens in your life, I'm good because I've got peace. And I found out that it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter how young you are. It doesn't matter who you are, where you come from. You can come from the high, a highest of highs. You can come from the lowest of lows. You can come from a two parent family, a one parent family. You can be, everybody struggles with not having peace because sometimes things are so turbulent in our lives until we don't have any peace. But God gives us peace. So Paul writes this letter in 2 Thessalonians, and he closes this letter to the church to let them know that the Lord is peace and he will give you peace. So freedom, what is peace? Freedom from disturbance. 
And nine times out of 10, when you don't have freedom from disturbance, it starts in your mind. Confusion, clutter in your mind. And you need freedom. You need a break. You need a, a release. You need a, a, a pressure. You have, you have so much pressure on the job, at the house, with the husband, with the wife. You have so much pressure, pressure to get it done, pressure to do it right, pressure to meet the deadline, pressure. But God comes in and speaks peace to your situation and say, listen, I'm going to organize those thoughts. Peace comes where there's organization, where there's confusion, there's every evil work. But when there's organization, when things have begun to be organized, hey, have you ever gone to a house or been at the house and things are just cluttered? Just, just clutter everywhere, just clutter. But when you clean it out, when you sweep it out, when you call somebody, if you don't clean it yourself, you call somebody to come and clean it for you. You know, I, I love to clean. When I'm cleaning, it just takes me to a peaceful place. When I'm washing the clothes or I'm, I'm washing the dishes, I like to see clean. It takes me to a peaceful place because there's no clutter. Some of us have clutter in our minds. We have clutter in our homes and we don't have any peace. But God says, I'm here to remove the clutter. I'm here to clean out your mind. I'm here to clean out your space so you can breathe, so you can have peace, okay? You can be young, you can be old, you can be middle-aged, you can be single, you can be married, you can have money, have no money. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter where you come from. If you're human, you're going to go through issues where you won't have any peace. But we got something to fall back on. We've got something to lean back on, and that's God, because he gives us peace. He takes us to a place of comfortability. He takes us to a place of freedom. He takes us to a place of what? Peace. <laughs> oh my God, I love him. Who wouldn't serve a God like that? Who? I don't know anybody. Who wouldn't serve a God that gives you peace in the midst of your storm? I'm going to come back because I want to talk to someone who I love so very much. And I think he's going to bless you all as you see him. And he's, he's young, but he talks about peace and what that looks like and what that means. And we're going to share the remainder of our broadcast together. So go ahead, get yourself situated, get your little, get your cup of coffee, get a cup of tea, uh, get you some biscuits, get your donuts, get something that you need to sit in front of the TV and watch. We got a few more moments and we're going to bring him back and he's going to have, we're going to have a lot of fun. I, I guarantee you, <laughs> I laugh thinking about it because... <laughs> <laughs> he's so uh, mild mannered and just, you know, just laid back and smooth and cool. But he talks from a young person's perspective. He's my son. <laughs> and he'll be back to talk to us about peace. Young people are going through too. Young people, I see you, you're watching. You just flip the channel. You're getting ready to watch your cartoons or whatever, but you flipped on here, so you may as well stay. <laughs> you may as well stay. Just keep on while you're 14, you're 15, you're 13, you're 12, you're 10. You just switch, flip the channel, you're 16. Stay, stay, because we're going to talk about peace in a little bit more with, our, with my son. His name is Austin, and he'll be back. Grab your pencils, grab your paper, grab your coffee, grab a snack, and come right back. Write our number down, 855-326-326. 2255. Again, 855-326-2255. And guess what? That's a toll-free number. 855-326-2255. Call me now. Call me now. And if you can't call, that's okay. Write the address down and write me. I love to read your letters. I love to meet you because I thank God for you. Dan Ministries, P.O. Box 439332, Chicago, Illinois. 60643. And I'm Dr. Darlene Allen Nichols. I'll give it to you one more time. Write it down. Dan Ministries, P.O. Box 439332, Chicago, Illinois, 60643. And I'm Dr. Darlene Allen Nichols. We'll be right back and we'll keep on talking about peace. Grab your snack. I'll see you in a minute. Dan Ministries, where we care about your focus and we care about your future. You can trust us to touch your life. Hi, this is Dr. Darlene Allen Nichols, and guess what? 
I got my son today with me. What's your name, son? Austin. That's Austin what? Austin Nichols. <laughs> and you know what? I'm so glad that you all joined me today. You all know I come into your homes and we do a lot of talking and preaching and teaching and ministering, but I wanted to take some time to sit down and teach. This is part two of our series. The first thing we talked about, if you remember, we talked about uh, trusting what it is to trust, okay? But today I wanna to talk about peace, right? And so I wanted to bring Austin on because as we get ready to talk about peace, young people are going through some things where they need peace as well. Uh, so I wanted to just talk a little bit about what the young people are going through and what better person to ask than my son, our son. So how old are you? I'm 14 years He's old. He's 14 years old. Yes, yes. <laughs> so handsome. So, Austin, yes. when you think about peace, okay, we're going to talk about scripture and all too. He's just doing the first segment. So, what do you think about in terms of the young people your age, the, the millennials, or they have a new name now. I think the younger ones are the Generation Z or Alpha or something like that. But, uh, what do you think about when you think about peace? When I think about peace, you know, I just think about like calm, steady, you know, not rowdy, mm -hmm. not out of proportion, just calm and steady. Not out of proportion, okay. <laughs> just calm and steady. Mm -hmm. um, are Do you think that they are, there are people your age that are going through times uh, that are not peaceful? And what are those times? Yes, so they're going through times like they've been bullied and mm -hmm. in school and they feel like they can't make it and they're in the house, a single house, a single parent. They don't have the individual parent to you know, teach them the way to go. Right, like that. that's true. So when they get bullied, how does that make them feel? It makes them feel, you know, very alone. Like yeah. They don't know what to do with themselves. Yeah. yeah. So I would assume that if they're being bullied, they're not peaceful? No. No, no. They're probably um, having a lot of issues in their minds, mm -hmm. going through a lot in their minds. Right. A lot of confusion, which would make them act out, right? right. How would that look if they acted out? Um, they would, they, you know, they would just come not know what to do. They wouldn't mm -hmm. be peaceful. Right. Basically, they would. They so would. with their teachers, maybe they're not doing the right thing. With their right. Teachers and that. Right. Yeah. So, so when, when, when I, I'm, I'm talking about peace because um, there's so many things that we internally go through that cause us not to have peace. And I wanted to hear it from the mind of a young person because I know there are young people that watch me, um, that watch our show, right? And they don't have peace, right? And and so I thought if you were to see someone your age that, that knows what it looks like not to have peace, um, that that would kind of capture your attention. So tell me, what does it look like Let's say maybe people in your class or people that you know or people that, what does it look like? Now you said you have peace. Do you have peace or yes, you're good? Okay. So what does it look like if you see a person your age that doesn't have peace? What does that look like? Um, they don't have peace. You know, let's say, for example, you was in a classroom and they would be blurting out and they would just be yelling and they would be getting in trouble, being sent mm. out to class or things like that. They sit down to the office because they don't have peace. Right, right. Because they're not happy. Right. Does peace make you happy? Yes. Mm -hmm. Peace does make me happy. So tell me about you. How how are you with regards to peace? Um, it makes me feel, you know, it makes me feel happy. It doesn't make me feel like I like it may, doesn't make me feel, you know, like bad or anything. It makes me feel excited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> excited when you have peace. Okay. He gets excited with peace. What else? <laughs> um, peaceful things to do, like mm -hmm. the types of peaceful things to do. Uh, the types of peaceful things that I like to do, play the piano. Oh, uh, that's right, that's right. So that brings you peace, playing the piano. That's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, so I like that, and I think, would you want to sit here with me when I do the, like, while I finish up? You might can add some stuff, huh? <laughs> He's gonna stay on camera, guys. <laughs> I love it. I love you so much. This is Dan Ministries, Dr. Darlene Allen Nichols. Why don't y'all call me 855-326-2255? Uh, and if you want to write, you can write me P.O. Box 
439-332, Chicago, Illinois, 60643. So I opened up the segment talking about peace, and I want to thank you, Austin. You really did well, and I may ask you some more questions, so stay put and listen uh, carefully. Um, so what brings me peace is God. Um, we talked about trusting. When you trust God, uh, he'll give you peace that will amaze you. So when you look at Philippians 4 and 7, Philippians 4 and 7, what does it say, Austin? Philippians 4 and 7. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Wow. The peace of God, which passes all understanding. In other words, you don't even understand how you have this peace. Okay? But it is the peace of who? It is the peace of God that gives you strength where you don't even understand it. You're like, wow, I'm going through so much. Even in school, if you're being bullied and God is giving you a peace about it because God knows how to take care of that person that's bullying you, right? He knows how to take care of that person, but you just have a peace about it. You just, you're not going crazy. You're not trying to hurt anybody. You're not trying to harm anyone else. You're not trying to blow your brains out. You're not, you're just comfortable in the fact that God's got me and I'm okay, right? Right. Yeah, what? <laughs> you can if you want to talk, go right on. Yeah, <laughs> I love this. I just love it. So peace is if you were to look at the definition, peace is read that right there. What does that say? Freedom from <laughs> disturbance. Disturbance. This is my hand right now. I guess you can't see. Freedom. Yeah from disturbance. So anything that disturbs you, so many times you go through things in life where you are not happy, you're confused every day, you're struggling every night, you have no peace in your home, you have no peace in your mind, you have no peace on the job, you have no peace at all. But God comes to bring you peace and Philippians 4 and 7 says, and the peace of who? God, the peace of God that passes all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Now, the Hebrew word for peace is what? I know he, I write it. He can't read my writing. Shalom. shalom. The Hebrew word for peace is shalom. And do we call Jehovah shalom? You heard Jehovah Shalom, right? <laughs> Jehovah Shalom means our God and our peace. 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 Shalom means peace. When we say Jehovah Shalom, that's our God who is peace. Our God and our peace, Jehovah Shalom, and that's who he is. So he brings you freedom from disturbance, okay? There's another scripture that I want to look at. I want to talk about this because this is so important. Because it's it's it what happens in this particular story is so very interesting because it te it lets us know that um, God can step into any situation and bring peace. Okay, Mark four and thirty nine says, then he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, what did he say? Peace be still. Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. So when you look at this passage, there was a storm. The disciples were in the boat, Austin. And there was a storm that was out of control. The storm consisted of the high winds, the waves were dashing, the boat was rocking and reeling, okay? Can you see it in your mind? Can you see it? What does it look like? Are you scared? Yeah. Are you scared? <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. The waves, the wind was blowing, the, the boat was rocking, and they were nervous, and they're like, wake up, Jesus. Wake up. We're going to perish. We're going to die in this storm. And Jesus gets up, and he says, peace be still. Austin, he rebuked the wind and he spoke to the sea and he said, calm down, calm down, right? 
and the Bible says there was what? A what? There was a great call. There was a great call. All right? So when he spoke to them, everything called them. And what, what came over them? Peace. Peace. I can't hear you, honey. Peace. Say it like you mean it. Peace. <laughs> Peace. So if you look at this passage, the, the, the message Bible says it like this. Oh, my God, I love it. The message Bible says, and the wind ran out of breath and the sea became smooth as glass because Jesus spoke peace to that storm. I'm here to let you know whether you're young, whether you're middle-aged, whether you're married, whether you're single, Jesus comes to speak peace to your situation. I'm here to let you know that you don't have to stay in a tumultuous relationship or a turbulent storm when Jesus is there to speak peace. He speaks peace to settle your spirit. He speaks peace, young people, to let you know that you can make it. He speaks peace to let you know that he's with you, that he'll never leave you, nor will he forsake you. And so look at that. Mark 4 and 39 and tell Jesus, Jesus, speak to my storm. I need peace in this storm. I'm going through so much. I don't have any money. I'm struggling on the job. I'm struggling with friends. And sometimes you just, you got everything you need. You just need some peace. And here comes our Lord and Savior. To speak what? Peace. Peace to your storm. And that's the kind of God that we serve. I want to pray. Do you have anything else to say, Austin? No, man. It's been a pleasure. Give me a high five. <laughs> it's been a pleasure having a, a little show with you. Thank you so very much. This is Dr. Darlene Allen Nichols of Dan Ministries. And you can call me 855-326-2255. Or you can write me, Dan Ministries, P.O. Box 439. 332 Chicago, Illinois, 60643. Dr. Darlene Allen Nichols here. I want to take some time to pray with you. And I thank you for joining me. Austin, I thank you for sitting with me. Yeah. I thank you for uh, uh, enjoying the broadcast. But I want to pray because I want you to know that wherever you are, whatever you're doing, God can speak peace to your situation. Okay? Let us pray. Father God, here we are. Here we are to tell you that we thank you, God. We appreciate you. We love you. We adore you. And we magnify you. And so we thank you even in this time. Those that are watching, it's not by accident or happenstance that they're watching. But it is because of you that you allow them to turn the dial and watch today. And so we speak peace to their storm. We speak peace right now to the child, the children, the daughters, the son, the marriage, the family, the home, the man of God, the daughter of God. We speak peace to their storm right now. And we say, God, you have your way. Show up and show out. We trust you, God. And because we trust you, peace shall be our portion. We give your name praise. We give your name glory. And we give your name honor. And so it is in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Y'all call me if you need me. 855-326-2255 is our number. Dan Ministries. I'm Dr. Darlene Allen Nichols. Or you can write me. PO Box 439-332. Chicago, Illinois, 60643. I'm on Facebook. What else am I on? Name, name all of the all of the social media sites. <laughs> Instagram, Facebook, Periscope. Um, I'm not on Snapchat. Um, that's about it, right? <laughs> oh, and Twitter. All right, Dr. Darlene Allen, you can find me. I pray that God will give you peace right where you are. I pray that you'll be okay right where you are. That you keep on smiling even through the hard times. You know that God's got you. All right, write me. P.O. Box 439-332, Chicago, Illinois, 60643. Call me, 855-326-2255. This is Dr. Darren Allen with the saying, peace. Say with peace. <laughs> bye, bye. God bless you. We pray that you were blessed by the life-changing word of God. Call
care about your future.